TV pinched her nose. When? Yeah, what are you doing? And stop calling me that. I'm not your baby. You rolled your eyes. JK. Oh, so my baby don't like me calling her baby? Teasing Tom. When? You're playing with fire, Mr. Bunny. Smirk. Let's play along. No, Daddy. I love it. Seductive Tom. He gulped after listening your words. Yeah, now why are you calling me that? Wang, what? You spoke innocently while blinking your eyes. JK, that word, he shuddered. Wang, way, I thought you love it, daddy, smirking. JK, okay, fine. I will never call you baby, and you not call me that too. Wang, great, that's like a good boy. He creases his hair gently. His face flushed with crimson color. Lisa, she scoffed. Stop your drama, you idiots. He glared her. Hey, everyone, I need your attention, she shouted. Everyone moved their gaze towards her. I'm arranging a party this weekend, and you all are invited. Cheers, everyone, shout cheers. While raising their glasses, Jimin, we're already in a party at the moment. Maybe I won't be able to attend your party. I'm sorry, Lisa. Lisa made a sad face. That's not fair, Jimin. You always come to Jungkook and Eamon parties, but not mine. JK, because you are special, Jungkook muttered. She sent a death prayer to him. Listen, guys, it was supposed to be a surprise, but I will tell you now. Hobie and Jin Opa are coming from overseas, Lisa's brothers. Sugar Opa and Tang will be there too. JK, JK's cousins. Jungkook, can you please invite Namjoon to and Sugar? She showed puppy eyes to Jungkook. JK, fine, I will. Okay, guys, I'm going back home. Let's go, Wan. I will drop you home. Wan, can we stay here for a little longer? He spoke in babyish voice. While showing him your puppy doll eyes. JK, no, Wan, you're already drunk and I have to go office tomorrow. Wan, okay, then I will go back home. My own self, don't worry, too. JK, no, you are going with me and that's fine. Now get up. When? Oh, okay, you make a sad part. Then Jungkook drove you back home. Sad story, intro. Wan and Jungkook are best friends from school times. And you meet Lisa and Jimin in high school. Since then, you all are best friends. And currently, you were at college reunion party with all of your friends that you and you can arrange to wake all memories. Present, Jungkook so took you back home, but as you were drunk, so instead of dropping you on door, he took you in your room and covered you properly. After that, he went back to his house. Next morning, he got up with heavy head, but you heard weird noises from downstairs. He got scared and crouched down the bed and took a waist in your hand, tiptoed towards downstairs from where the nurses was coming from. You entered kitchen, shout, and raise your hand to it, but stop on your track. He guessed, what are you doing, Wayan? He took the waist from your hand and put it aside carefully. When? yeah, bunny head, what are you doing in my house? You idiot, you scared me to death. Let out a sigh of relief. Did you sleep at my place last night? Frowned. JK, oh, oh, oh. Easy peasy, let me walk. You sit in stool, massaging your head. I never stayed at your house. In fact, I came a while ago and make hangover soup for you. Oh, you chuckle and gave him a bright smile. Mr. Bunny, what will happen to me if you are not around me? You make a cute pout. JK, he ruffled your hairs. Nothing will happen because I will always stay with you. He show you his bunny smile. Here, trick it. He tap, knock on your forehead. Dude, don't do it. It's already hurting. JK, yeah, I know. That's why I made it for you. Now drink it quickly. He nod your head and drink soup quietly. JK, I also made breakfast. Eat it too. I'm going office. Bye. When? 
Wait, how am I supposed to go office? I came with you last night. My car. He cut it you off? Yeah, I know. And I already asked someone to pick it up. Don't worry. Okay, you did good. You are the best go. He chuckled on your compliment. Wait, go take me with you too. I will be late if I wait for my car. Also, I'm still not fully sober. No need to attend office today. I will give you a leave. Jungkook is the CEO of Jiwon Company and Wyatt is working as his secretary. When no, we have an important meeting today. I can't afford a leave. Give me 10 minutes. I will get ready and join you. Stubborn, he murmured. When Harvey say something, you narrow your eyes. JK, no boss. I just said as you have ever listened to me before. Now go and get ready quickly or unless we get late. When okay, you packed his cheeks before rushing upstairs. His cheeks flushed with red color. Later, you both went to office. Skip bar today. JK Pioli. I came at Wen's house to pick her up for a party. She waved her hand to me and my jar dropped to see her. She was wearing a white color dress simply, yet promoting her every curve. I got a lump in my throat to see her from head to toe. She was looking so alluring. I just can't get my eyes off. He opened door for you, you smiled and sat beside him. He was also looking so elegant and handsome, as always. When you're looking handsome, Cookie, he stared at you. When you're looking hot, baby, he mumbled underneath his breath. He diverted his gaze towards Rod. Thanks, Dickie, and you're looking beautiful, he giggles. No, actually, you're looking breathtaking. Butterflies start dancing in your stomach and your face turns into crimson color. Mm, thanks, he replied him in shy tone. Skip at party when you... Lisa greeted both of you and compliment you. You are looking hot girl, she winked. You blushed. You are also looking beautiful, Lisa. Let's go, I will introduce you to my opas. She took your hand, dragging you with her. Jungkook also went to meet his cousins and friends. It was a business party. All famous businessmen, partners, friends and relatives are invited. We meet with Hobby in Genova and get along with like you are knowing each other from childhood. But someone was sending death glances to you, burning in anger to see you laughing with them. Jungkook came towards you in anger and pulled you with him. When Jungkook, what are you doing? You spoke in hushed voice to Jungkook who was now dragging you with him. Jackie, let me introduce you to my cousins to Wan. Here Wan, meet Namjoon, Sugar and Taehyung. You draw your eyes. I already know them too, but you smile instead. Namjoon, hi Wan. Hi, you replied with a smile on your face. Sugar, hey beautiful. He extended his hands. You placed your hand in his hand and he back, back side of your hand. You blushed. They, hey baby, long time no see. By the way, you're looking hot. Lean forward and back on your cheeks. By the way, they have a crush on you from college days. And you look, know it very well. When he handsome, meet me now, I'm in front of you, went. You flirted him back. Now Jungkook jealously went beyond exceed. JK, excuse us guys, I have introduced Wyan to someone else. He again gripped your arm and dragged you to a corner. When Jungkook, you're gripping my arm too tightly. He immediately left your arm. I'm sorry, he mumbles. When, what happened? Why are you acting like this? He muttered, JK, what were you doing earlier? He gritted his teeth. When? What? He glared at you. Are you jealous, Koo? You chuckled. 
Come on, go. It was nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. You hugged him, wrapping one hand around his torso while other gently grazing his hairs. Why? Now calm down, okay? He snuggled his head in your nape, engulfing you in war and rest, wrapping his arms around your waist, securing you to move. You both stayed like that for a while. When are you feeling better now? Nodded his in response. And you pack his forehead. Don't spoil your mood now, JK. I don't want to stay here anymore. When okay, then let's go back home. But when you were about to leave, Lisa stopped you. Almost everyone left now except some friends and family members. Lisa, let's play to Thordia. She insisted you to stay, so you don't have any option left. As she's good friend too, and you all went on gouges, she spin the bottle and it stops on Diane, Lisa, to Thordia. Day, truth, Lisa, do you have a crush on someone? If yes, who is she? If you don't want to tell, then you have to drink these shots. He shares you. Jungkook immediately took your hand in his and locked his fingers with yours while sending the way to Dan. They move his case and drink the shots. Everyone cheers. Oh, after it, bottle stops on some other members. Later, while it stops on you, Lisa, after the dare, when truth, you were not in the mood of care, so you choose truth. Lisa smirks because she have some other plans in her mind. Lisa, do you have a crush on someone? Tell us his name. She knew you have a crush on JK and she wants you to confess. You peek Jungkook from the corner of your eye, who's already staring you in perplexity, waiting for your answer. You sigh and drink the shots. JK stared you in jealousy because he didn't no, you have a crush on none other than him. Lisa, yeah, why you have to tell the truth? You shrugged your shoulders. After a while, the bottle again stops on you. Lisa, truth or dare? Baby girl, he's smirking. When dare, you pick it to avoid what happened earlier. But what happened next was blast on your head. Lisa, okay baby, I dare you to kiss Tay and go Jungkook. You gritted your teeth while sending a death glare to her. She mouthed all the best. You were playing with your fingers, didn't know what to do. Now, you start JK, then they biting your lower lip. Jungkook was burning inside. Before they do something, he moved his face towards your lips and within the next second attached his lips with yours, kissing you aggressively yet tenderly. Jealousy was clearly visible. You didn't know what to do, but after a while, you closed your eyes and kissed him back. You both break the kiss, realizing everyone is around you. You move back and stare downward. Jackie was also staring here and there because now it's awkward and embarrassing moment for both of you. Jackie cleared his throat to break the silence. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. He spoke. Let's go in. I will drop you. You stare him, not knowing what to say. I took you here, so obviously I drove you back, he nodded and went with him quietly. You both were peeking each other, trying to find your and white. He stopped the car in front of your house. He stopped the car in front of your house. You step out, but about to fall. Because you were a bit drunk, then JK hauled you and picked you in right and started to your room. He placed you on bed, but you pulled him and attached your lips with his. He was startled, but replied the kiss. This kiss was soft, delicate, yet passionate. You both broke the kiss due to out of breath, but he pulled you in kiss again. But this time you both won't control or you were a little on too. And yes, you guys do it. He he he. Next morning, you woke up, but guessed. So to see Jungkook behind you. Last night flashed in your memory and you blushed. 
but you thought it was just alcohol or my jk don't feel the same way you start panicking you don't want to ruin your precious friendship with him so he quietly got up and pick scattered clothes and get dressed and leave a note for jk who was still sleeping peacefully and left for office jk got up with a white grin on his face but don't found you he thought you might be downstairs so he immediately went down but you were not there too then he find a knot jk baby i found a knot and quickly read it when i'm sorry to last night i know we were drunk last night and it was alcohol just take it as a night stand who went and think and forget it and just live like before best friends jenko crumbled the knot and his heart shattered into pieces cause after last night he rationally planned to confess you the first thing in the morning jeki why am i nothing for you have you never felt anything for me i'm madly in love with you but of course i would respect your decision I will try to not think about you from now on, Junko thought in his mind as you a sad chuckle escaped from his lips. He also went off his making a straight face to not get caught. You greeted him like you yo to settle the atmosphere between both of you. But he didn't reply like before. With every passing days, he became more cold towards you. You tried to talk to him, but he didn't listen and now the only conversation between both of you is about work he didn't talk with you until or unless it's about work or necessary he stopped talking you either attending your calls like you yell and it's been 3 weeks already to that day he thought it's all happening because of that night cuz he don't want to see you now you were hurt badly of his actions so you resigned from his office These days you were also feeling strange too morning sickness dizziness but you ignored it as you plan to leave going to do because it's not easy for you to forget him if he's in front of you you told him in everything about what happened between both of you and Jungkook his behavior while crying on his shoulder he already know about your feeling for JK as he's the second most adored friend of you what's after Jungkook He helped you in everything. You were not feeling well, so Jimin took you to hospital a day before you leave. And what doctor told you was something you never expect. Doctor, congrats, Mrs. Wan, you're pregnant. Well, filled with tears of happiness and sadness, you always imagined to have a family with Jungkook, but what is happening now was complete opposite to that. But you decided to waste with you alone as JK was. This is because you thought you're married as you went with him and so probably this reason to whatever. JK was already not talking to you so you thought he didn't even have any right to know about it too. As you're living from Korea as well, but you may insist it's Jungkook's right to know he's father of your child. So you motivate yourself to talk to him right before leaving for UK. You went to his house. He was also hurt badly because you didn't even explain to him why you resigned. He thought you hate him that much, so you didn't even want to see him. He was surprised to see you, but went in a far face. When? Hi. We need to talk. JK, I don't have time. When? Call Tom. When? He smiled weakly, thinking that person who left his important meetings for you now he didn't have a few minutes for you. His words and attitude are stabbing your heart badly, and you regretted the moment to come here. Wan, can I come in, please? I only take a few minutes. He spoke while trying to maintain a normal face in front of him. He nodded and stepped aside the door. You both entered his living room. You both were silent for a while until you took a deep breath to speak. Wan, I um, I have to tell you something. Go, I. I am pregnant with a child at the air all down your eyes. He immediately stared you, but with no emotions. Well, I met my doctor yesterday and she told me I'm two weeks pregnant. You weakly smiled and got up from couch. I'm not here to demand something. I that was you to take responsibility. I'm here just to inform you and I'm leaving country today. 
in a few hours. Tears continue to dribble from your eyes. You stare him last time, thinking you weren't about to see him again. Some more tears made their way from your face, but his voice startled you. Jiggy, and who gave you the right to take away my baby away from me? You move on your track to see him. Have you ever asked me what I want? Now you saw tears in his eyes too. First that night, and now even my baby too. Don't I have any right on anything? He came closer to you. When? What do you mean? He shouted twice. JK. Have you never noticed why I was jealous that night and why I kissed your cuss? I don't want any other man near you cause you belongs to me. I am in love with you. From the first time I see you. But what you did? Decided everything your own self? Have you never considered my feelings? Did you hate me that much? Your eyes widened. All those moments when he was there for you whenever you need him cross your mind. His possessiveness, his jealousy, everything. When you hold his hand, no go, I never hate you. Why would I? I do all this because I thought you hate me and don't want me to. And I'm the only one who was in love with you. No, he was surprised to hear your words. He immediately hugged you tightly. You also wrapped your arms around his torso. With same love, while shedding tears, you both were badly missing each other's presence. He broke hug and wiped your tears, staring deep in your eyes. No, oh, baby, why would I do that? And back your nose. You blushed on sudden contact of his lips. No more tears, lady. I'm right beside you. From now on, you make a poppy face and he peck your lips immediately. When close your eyes. When what? Why? Just do it as I say and wait for me. When? Okay. He ran upstairs and came back within seconds. JK, baby, open your eyes. You open your eyes only to see him sitting on his knees facing a box with diamond ring in it. JK, when will you marry me and give me right to take responsibilities of you and my child? When? What? Are you serious? Jakey, do I look like talking ground? I already waited enough when I can't wait anymore and I really mean each and every word I was saying. When? He smiled in between the words and nodded your head. Yes, I will. He immediately sighed the ring in your fingers and attached his lips with yours, kissed you delicately with your love and kissed him back with same love. After bidding kiss, he lift you up and swear you, he giggles. Jiki, I love you. I love you so much, baby, and I'm so happy after that. Live happily ever after. The end.